guys, it's Graham with Tutorial Clarity, and today I'm bringing you a lesson on gradients and color schemes within Adobe Photoshop. So let's get down to it. First things first, let's create a new document that we can work on. Just go up to Create a New Document by File New, and we'll create it at 1024 by 768. Go ahead and hit OK, and then uh, we'll bring up and maximize this here. Okay. So really, let's get down to gradients. Your gradient tool is over here, and by default I already have it selected. Or you can hit G on your keyboard. This is the gradient tool. And you can modify your gradient in a couple of ways. But you modify it by coming up here, and you can see all these different types of gradients. Radial gradients, you know, mid gradients, things like that. And they all do a different thing. Now, one important thing to do with gradients is know um, how to use them <laughs> so that you can get a perfectly straight gradient, you know, along the left or up and down axis, X and Y. So what you can do is, you, if you have a gradient tool selected, before we go into the colors of things, if you hold down shift, or if you left click and then hold down shift and drag, you'll notice that I'm dragging in a perfectly straight line, and that creates a perfectly straight gradient. Same thing from left to right and that becomes really useful when you're doing interface design to keep things uh, equal and pleasing to the eye but um, anyway let's continue here you can see that there are different types of gradients and you can just go through, through these it's as simple as really clicking on them and then dragging believe it or not so you know that's that there's this type triangular very nice and uh, midpoint also very nice we'll go back to the main gradient one color to another color and here's how you let's get down to the colors here you can actually modify the colors by clicking that right there and then you get your gradient editor now I have a bunch of pre-saved gradients as I said in previous tutorials but really by default you should only have up to about here and um, but that's okay there are two special gradients actually in here that are dynamic it's the first and the second one and the first one just takes your foreground and your background color and it creates a gradient out of them. So I'm going to click that one and click OK to show you what I'm talking about. And I'll create, um, you know, get a slightly blue color here. And then, you know, go down a bit in that spectrum. And you can see that it creates a gradient between those two colors that I selected. This color, my foreground, and this color, my background. And if we go up here, yep, there they are. And this brings me, you'll notice this one changed as well. This is the second dynamic one. And it's a foreground to transparent. And what the foreground to transparent gradient does is it takes your foreground color, right here, this darker blue, and it actually fades it into a transparent color. So I'm actually going to switch that blue. I don't like that one too much, but it's the same deal. So now this is our foreground color, foreground blue, and it'll fade it to something transparent, which if I'm right, will fade to white because uh, the background is white drag up and there it is so the blue actually fades into a white and if we click on create a new layer it should do the same thing the only thing on that layer should be that blue gradient and everything below it you can see how that fades into transparency there everything below it is the white so it looks like it's fading into white um, that's very 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 useful promise useful for reflections um, useful for fading things and that have different color backgrounds so you don't have to keep color picking because that's a pain but uh, anyway if you want to adjust and go a little more uh, complex into your gradients let's say you want more than one or two colors you can come into these presets and kinda look at the shapes that are already set up um, if you go to three colors this is a good one to go to actually right here and you can select three colors by double clicking on the color picker here and you know I love blue as everybody knows so I can just kinda select some different spectrums of blues as always and there you have it now I have three colors that actually fade in the blue spectrum and uh, just to make that stand out a little more to show you what I'm talking about I'm gonna bring that one up and you can see that this fades to this which later fades to this it's left to right completely linear and that is the same thing for all of these so I'm gonna click OK I currently have the gradient selected that I created up here. Click, drag, and isn't that pretty? So, 
I mean, you guys can pretty much understand. It's pretty intuitive how, how this works now. And um, you can see from left to right going down here, it's the same thing. You can see them fading into each other. And if you want to change the color, you just simply double click it and drag the color to whatever you want. And it actually updates for you to see. So you don't have to click OK just to preview it, which is fairly nice. But, you know, that is that. Now, what if you need some help in your color scheming? There is a useful website by Adobe, which I'm going to show you, and it's called Adobe Cooler, or Color. It's kind of spelled very funky. It's with a K instead of a C, and I'll show you down here. But it's this website right here. It's called cooler.adobe.com, Adobe Cooler. And you can, people will actually select, other designers will select sets of colors that function together. And if you use all the sets of colors, you can get different looking websites, different looking uh, digital art, whatever, as long as you use that spectrum of colors. So I actually already have one picked here. It's called Avoidance. And I like this one a lot because it has a lot of contrast between tones. And um, so how do you get this? How do you get this uh, this into Photoshop? Well, I'm going to show you a trick. And it's actually very quick. All you have to do is hit Alt. That's Alt, left Alt on your keyboard. Hold it down and hit Print Screen. And that Print Screen button is next to the Insert button towards the upper right of your keyboard, kind of next to around the Delete key, Home, Page Up, Page Down. It's above that. And it's called Print Screen. So Alt plus Print Screen will take a picture of this whole window and it'll save it to your clipboard for you to paste like you would paste text copying and pasting like you would paste text into Adobe Photoshop so we actually have this whole window copied and if we go back into Adobe Photoshop what we're gonna do is hit control V and Photoshop is gonna create a new layer for us with our screenshot of that window you know we just hold down control and all we have to do is select the colors so what I do is I just drag out a rectangle here I hit Control C to copy, delete the whole layer altogether by dragging it into the trash. Control D to deselect and Control V to paste that again. And so now I just basically extracted a rectangle of those colors. And when I'm working on my user interface or my design, I can uh, select these colors. Also very useful for gradients. You can use these colors for gradients too. You know, you may want to use your more high contrasted colors on the left and right here for your uh, panels and navigation, uh, body content, things like that. And maybe everything in here is just uh, background and uh, foreground color. So you can do that. And we're going to do that. So let's take these uh, a little less saturated tones, this blue in the screen, and we can create a background using our gradient tool and we're going to hide that layer by clicking the eye icon we're going to select our gradient layer here and we just drag from top to bottom like we have been and there we have a gradient between those colors and you may want to reverse it so I hit X on my keyboard and that reverses it you may want to start up top a little further bring it down and you just have a smooth smooth gradient now we unhide our layer and this is our colors and you can see they really just they fit nicely they really do and um, that's the benefit of Adobe Cooler because you can get these colors in those spectrums and uh, basically from this point if you were a web designer you could go around and design some curved interfaces things like that but I really that's that's for different tutorials I already have tutorials on that and I will create more in the future so that's for a different tutorial but I really just wanted to introduce you guys to gradients within Adobe Photoshop. So now you know where the gradient tool is, you know how to select it to edit the gradients, um, and you know how to get color schemes. Additionally, you know how to get some real color schemes up in here, and you can save your gradients if you want, if you like those color schemes. So uh, mess around with that.